Good morning, student. As we finish our Mendeleev periodic table, but I found that the number of students still don't have any clarity about the Mendeleev periodic table. So one more time, in very short, within five minutes, I mean I am explaining the full Mendeleev periodic table. Okay. So as we can uh, move. Uh, as we begin from the starting that we learn a uh, classification first the Dobrina tries then the new land octave they try to classify all the elements they try to classify all the elements on basis of their atomic mass okay now the Mendeleev who try to classify element at that time 63 element was discovered so first he found the all the elements hydride and oxide form here it is the hydride a r h r that is element all the element the common name for the element considered as r and the common name of here r 2 n and RH which means the hydride of the element everywhere you can find out and the high oxide of the element R2O, RO, F, that like that okay. So that hydride and oxide through he found that the whatever element discovered here R2H the meaning of R2H which means that the hydrogen R 2 O and R H. Now we know that the oxygen have a minus 2 valency and hydrogen have a minus 1 or plus 1 both valency hydrogen have. So here consider that minus 1. So because of this oxygen have a plus 1 valence minus 2 valency and hydrogen have a minus 1 valency according to that this R all the elements behave so r2 o which means that here the r have a definitely plus 1 valency so r plus 1 r plus 1 which means r2 so 2 plus 1 and oxygen 2 minus and in 7th standard we learn that the oxidation this valency how to be satisfied so that is why we can here consider that the R have a plus valency and here. So same way he found that the oxide and hydride of this element have a plus 1 valency. That is why he, keep, he kept all the element which have a plus 1 valency in a group 1A and group 1B. Why they make a separate group? this both have a plus valency then because the both the group have a this group 1 have a different property and group 2 have a different property not only this oxide and hydride property he consider the numbers of property he consider right now no you in your at your level no need to understand no need to learn that only this you need to learn that the first group have a plus 1 valency and first one group also b group have a also plus 1 valency but they put like this same thing for the second group if we talk then beryllium magnesium calcium wo, strontium all of them have a plus 2 valency that's why they kept the, he kept in a he kept in a plus 2 and second group so first a b second a b third a b fourth a b fifth a b like this okay fourth the it's remain as it is till four after the fourth after the fourth the mine mine eight is the last one so minus five four minus five so it become three Four, uh, eight, sorry 8 minus 5 so 3 8 minus 6 2 uh, so minus 3 minus 2 okay here minus minus 2 minus 1 you know that the fluorine chlorine and bromine have a minus 1 so 8 minus uh, so 7 minus 8 minus 1 6 minus 8 
minus 2. So, all these have a minus 2. 5 minus 8. So, all these have a minus 3 valency. So, like this he consider. Okay. So, this is the way he kept. Now, it, if we see the merit of the Mendeleev periodic table, he uh, kept some place uh, which is he kept some gaps like here aluminum, silicon. So, that gaps he predict, predict that definitely the other element will become on basis of that uh, here on the first group he found that the uh, particular ratio is there between the masses and some characteristic and some property. So, some characteristic are matching so on basis of there or right now we can say there is no logic but he pretend that uh, he, pre he thought that uh, definitely the another will become and he found its atomic num uh, he, he thought that the definitely here something will come. So, he kept a gap and the gap also he gave a name Eka alumina and Eka silica. Eka, Eka which means that is a Greek word and Sanskrit word also, but Greek word because he is a Greek, uh, Rus uh, sorry, he is a Russian scientist. So, in Russian or in Greek, it is Eka which means next to, Eka which means next to. So, the next to the alumina, aluminum, so Eka alumina and Eka silica which means next to silica that he found, that he told, he predict like that, okay. Another thing he told that he uh, fourth one the incorrect atomic mass of atomic mass of the corrected which means that the gold and silver here yeah, sorry gold and platinum gold atomic mass is a 196 and the platinum atomic mass is a 195 so both he corrected because its property and uh, because of some characteristic which match with the another one Okay, so these are the fourth four merit of the Mendeleev periodic table. Now, the what is the defect of the periodic table, which means that anomalous behavior, a couple, anomalous pair, we can say. The here pair, the first pair is a cobalt and nickel. So he arranged all the element in increasing order of the atomic mass. So here the cobalt atomic mass is a 58.93 and nickel atomic mass is a 58.171 which means that nickel have to come here and cobalt have to come here. So but he put like this because cobalt properties match with this rhodium and the nickel ma uh, characteristic and properties match with the palladium. So that is why he put like this. Another also tellurium and iodine. So, iodine have a 126.90 atomic mass and the tellurium have a 127.60 atomic mass. So, he, exchange, he kept like this here 126 have, iodine have to come here and tellurium have to come here. But uh, because of the property and the characteristic of the iodine and tellurium is matched with this group. Iodine characteristic right now we in uh, right now new periodic table have iodine in this group okay but at that time uh, that uh, he told that the, i have arranged all the atomic uh, all the element in increasing order of atomic mass so according on basis of that principle it is not match so at that time it is known as a, is a defect okay so this pair another the position of the isotopes now, first and most important thing, what is the isotopes? Isotopes which means that the same element have a two atomic mass, like a chlorine have a 35 and another chlorine have a 37. This is called atomic mass. Same element have a different atomic mass is called isotopes. So, if the chlorine and uh, this chlorine have a 35 and this chlorine have a 37, so, where is the place of the isotopes in this periodic table? So, that he did not explain. That is the next, uh, okay. Then the third one, the grouping of the chemical dissimilarity element, which means that here the copper and silver. What he told that the copper and silver bear to no resemble in alkali. He put a copper and silver together and this first group, Hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, all of this known as alkali. 
and why he put this in this with this group that he cannot able to explain the place so that is a defect then the separation of the similar atom which means that separation which means the silver and the platinum silver and platinum have a similar characteristic similar property but he kept both element in different group so that is the second uh, next uh, that is position of the separation of the alchemically similarity element okay then fifth one the electron arrangement so uh, after the discovery of the electron the what is the electron arrangement that he did not explain through this mendeleev periodic table this periodic table through we cannot able to find out the where how never, how and where then how many number of electron are present in this element and where they are arranged so that is not given then the next one the position of the hydrogen the position of the hydrogen still it is a controversy after the new mendeleev periodic table modern mendeleev periodic table it is a controversy that the hydrogen position is not considered hydrogen position is not a fix why because the some characteristic is match with this phos group and some characteristic is match with this group fluorine chlorine of one example i can give you that characteristic that the hydrogen have a plus 1 valency also and minus 1 valency so the plus valency that sodium lithium all have a plus valency and the chlorine bromine all have a minus 1 valency so the both can have a same to so hydrogen have a both characteristic so the why he keep, he kept hydrogen in a first group that position also that about that is a not a fix okay so that and that other thing also given in your textbook that you can read so that is the mendeleev periodic periodic table merit of the mendeleev periodic table and the demerits or defect of the mendeleev periodic table after the mendeleev periodic table some defect are there so the one of the scientists whose name is a mostly or uh, we can say the mostly pronunciation if pronunciation is wrong then forget uh, the mos uh, mostly that one of the uh, scientists who discovered that in a uh, before chapter in a chapter number 4 uh, atomic structure there you will learn that the uh, about the electron proton and neutron so how the electron proton and neutron discover that is given in that fourth chapter so he discovered the electron proton and neutron through that he found that the atomic number atomic number what is the meaning of atomic number atomic number is a number of number of proton number of proton is a call as a atomic number so the hydrogen have a one proton that's why it atomic number is a one okay helium have a two proton that's why its atomic number is a two so after he discover like this that the all the element have its atomic number he arrange all the element according to the atomic number okay so uh, what he is told about the atomic number that here it is given on page number 82 if you cannot able to see properly then you can open it so atomic number according to the atomic number which is known as a modern periodic law henry musley found the atomic number and which is called uh, the law the physical and chemical property of the elements are a periodically function of their atomic number which means that when he arrange when he arrange that mendeleev also arrange its periodic table and this is a column he call a group and this horizontal line is known as a periods okay so same way he the group have a same property that is call a periodicity so physical and chemical property of the element are a periodic function of their atomic number okay mendeleev periodic table what he told the mendeleev periodic table the same thing physical and chemical 
property of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic mass but instead of mass the henry mosley he represent the atomic number and then he arrange all the element in a periodic table okay so what he told explain for the anomalies uh, of the mendeleev to mendeleev told the position of the isotopes now there is no problem to arrange isotopes why because the isotopes what is the meaning of isotopes the same element have a two type of atomic mass that is why it is known as isotopes now we are not arranging according to atomic mass we are arranging according to atomic number okay chlorine atomic number is a 17 so there is no problem with this atomic mass so no problem with the isotopes how to arrange and there is no need to any place for the isotopes so that, that first problem is cure okay now second problem the position of the anomalous pair which means that the anomalous pair he told the potassium and the argon that the potassium uh, argon have a 18 atomic number and the potassium have a 19 so already mendeleev uh, gave that a uh, potassium have a potassium have a 39 point what he told the potassium have a 39 point uh, one atomic mass and the argon have a 39 point nine so argon have to be first but instead of argon he kept the potassium so this after the atomic mass is the potassium atomic mass is 18 and the argon is sorry potassium atomic mass is 18 and the uh, argon atomic mass is 18 and potassium is a 19 so that problem also solved okay so this problem will solve after afterward so the whatever pair he arranged that pair is consider correct after the all the element are uh, arranged according to the atomic number okay i hope you understand this point till here we done and if you find any query after this then when school will reopen at that time you can ask okay till here now the next point the long form of periodic table which is this is the new and latest and nowadays we are using which is called a long form of the periodic table or we can say the modern periodic table now the why it is known as a modern mendeleev periodic table because the uh, henry mosley he found all the element and arrangement of the element through the mendeleev periodic table he done that is why with respect to the mendeleev he gave this new periodic table is a modern mendeleev periodic table and the last year 2019 it was a year was a celebrate a 150 year for uh, the year of periodic year was discovered last year the mendeleev periodic table okay due to the discovery of the 150 year is completed to discover of the mendeleev modern mendeleev periodic table okay so now next let's see this here orally i am explaining then i i'll give explain the one more thing which is not given in your textbook in this chapter other uh, chapter have but i want to explain you right now first let's see this this are the groups this horizontal this column sorry the column all the columns are the groups they are total 18 groups there are two type of name roman and this digit so 1a 2a 3a 4a 5a 6a 7a like this and eight number you can uh, you just find out that the it's relate with the mendeleev periodic table those who are in a first a hydrogen and the first b copper argon gold okay so the first a first b yeah. but nowadays it is a 1 to 18 whenever anything ask from the periodic table and if you want to write a group then choice is your that you can write with this roman or you can write with this both way you can explain okay so 1 2 3 4 5 
six seven six here three and the third a third b sorry third a four a five a six a and seven a and eighteen this eighteen is a zero group and it is known as a noble gases this is noble gases 18 group known as first group is known as first group is known as alkali metal second is alkaline earth metal so first and second group is considered as a s block why it is s block why it is p block why it is d block why it is f block everything that i will explain but later right now it is not necessary it will come in a 11 science right now only just see you need to remember i will definitely in ninth standard i will tell you but right now you just concentrate what i am explaining this is s block this group from uh, 13 to 18 is considered as a p block p block and this P in P block first letter is a boron so that's why this group is known as a boron family this carbon family nitrogen family oxygen family and this is a halogens these are the call as a halogens and these are the noble right now you need to learn about only first to first second and 13 to 18 S block and P block you need to uh, uh, just remember the what is the name of the group not all the elements about only so the s block which is known as alkali alkaline earth metal alkali metal alkaline earth metal this is a, a boron family carbon family nitrogen family oxygen family halogen and noble gases this is a d block from a third to twelve third to 12 is a d block and this lower side is a f block okay he arranged like this now this first number hydrogen because it's atomic number one then the helium second third fourth fifth sixth seven like this he arranged so this is the 18 groups now there are seven pillars first two seven pillars first period second third fourth and seven okay these are the seven periods i hope till here you understand student now the before explaining about before the learning next point which is given the modern periodic table explanation which is given here in your textbook the modern periodic table so whatever i told you before that is given so modern periodic table when the element increase when the element increase when element are arranged according to the increasing atomic number those having a equal number of valence electron occur at regular interval or a period now this is the very difficult to understand for that first i am explaining few things that you learn very important for your this understanding okay now concentrate here just see here atom atom have a proton neutron and electron proton and neutron present in a nucleus and electron are revolve around or around which is called orbit this is orbit and it is also called as a shell okay electron are here 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 like this okay so there are four shell k l m n now why this is cells numbers of cell because all the atom like hydrogen have a one proton okay so and the electron remember student number of proton is always equal to the number of electron hydrogen have a one proton so the hydrogen have one proton so the electron also one remember this thing proton have a positive charge and electron have a negative charge 
so to balance with both of them this is the proton present in a nucleus and the electron present in a orbit and another one neutron which is also present in a nucleus and neutron do not have any charge neutron is a neutral that's why it is known as a neutron but right now we are not talking about neutron right now i'm talking about the proton and electron because the atomic number is denoted the proton so the electron also so the hydrogen have a one proton so that many number of electron are present suppose i'm taking another example helium helium have a two proton that's why its atomic number is a two so that many number of electron are present in a orbit is it clear have you understand this okay so now the number total 118 element 18 element so which means that the last element have a 118 proton and 118 electron are in this orbit okay if we talk about the sodium sodium have a 11 electron and 11 proton so that's why sodium atomic number is a 11 we consider that atomic number is a number of proton okay right now you just need to know that atomic number of sodium is a 11 that's why 11 proton present an 11 proton that's why 11 electron also clear now where this electron are arranged so electron are arranged in this shell k l m n k l m n are the shell now they have a capacity to hold the electron so how much capacity they have so the proton uh, sorry k k is a shell k have a maximum two electron or can hold l which means i can draw here k have a two electron they can only hold two electron l eight electron okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 electron 8 electron can able to hold l m can hold 18 electron so l can hold 18 electron and n n can hold 32 electrons okay have you understand so now because of they can this cell have a capacity to hold the electron so the arrangement we need to know so the hydrogen have a one electron one atomic number so the one electron definitely so the with that electron is present in a k shell okay helium have a two electron so two atomic number which means two electron so k can able to uh, k can able to that both the electron two electron in its orbit okay have you understand this so that one electron present in a k shell and this two electron also present in a k shell different different no huh? both the i am talking about one atom the one atom of hydrogen now this is the nucleus and this is so one this is nucleus and one now the k uh, helium so helium have a two so two are like this okay now let's talk about lithium lithium have a three now lithium have a three so k2 which means that this is nucleus so k have a two now one is remaining which means that one can arrange into the l this is k and this is l so k can hold two baki bacha ek that we can keep into the l so k have a two and l have a one so lithium electronic configuration we can say two one we cannot write like this it is very lengthy way only like this so it's it can easily understandable 2 1 2 which means k and 1 which means l now let's take another example beryllium beryllium have a 4 so 2 can go into the k and baki bacha second next 2 another l because l have a 8 capacity i told you before 2 8 18 32 remember this 
2 8 18 32 so 8 so here 2 2 or if you draw like this then this is nucleus so the 2 k l k and 2 l so this is the electronic configuration of the beryllium boron next 2 3 because why I am 2 I am not increasing because the K have a only uh, 2 capacity that they can hold only 2 electron that is why not more than 2 it is not possible even and the L have a 8 so now we can uh, we can write the we can increase the atomic number and we can uh, add all till 8 number we can add uh, electron into the L group so here neon you can see this neon have a 10 so on if we do like this so so on so k have 2 nl 8 now here it is finished which is called this is the finish which means complete k completed l completed now neon have a both completed shells 2 completed 8 completed which means that that is why it is completed so it is called octave octet octet you can say because it is completed octet that's why neon is a noble gas noble why it is noble because the k completed l completed fully satisfied so they cannot able to react with anyone it is that's why it is noble same thing helium also helium have a two so two completed Two ca maximum capacity two, so two fulfill and completed. So that's why it is also a noble. Are you clear? So here also this, then the sodium. Now move on. Sodium have a eleven. So K have a two nucleus. K have a two. This is K. Then L have a eight. We can draw like this. L have a eight. And then one more M shell one more electron l shell m cell so electronic configuration of the sodium is a 2 8 1 are you clear so this is the way if the according to the atomic number they are arranging the electron also arrange properly we can able to find out through the atomic number the how the electron are arranged so if we see the first group now i am talking about first group First alkali, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium, lithium, hydrogen first. But the hydrogen, right now I am not talking about hydrogen, I am taking the lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium. And if we see the atomic numbers, so 3, 11, 19, so 2, 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 8, 8, 1. So, have you observed that the everywhere there is a 1, 1, 1, 1. Here also 1, 1, 1. Afterward, rubidium, cesium and francium also have a 1, 1, 1 in a last in a, in a electronic configuration. Now, you understand very well what is the electronic configuration. 2, 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 8, 8, 1. Okay. So, this is the way. So, the 1, 1, 1. That is why the first group have a plus 1 valency. same second group so so group 1 have a 1 valency group 2 have a plus 2 valency in out this is called outermost cell those who are last in a it is called outer most shell an outermost cell have a 1 which means it is first group have a 1 valency which means it is a first, first group and this is also considered as a valence shell this last last 1 1 1 also consider as a consider as a valence shell through that we can find out the what is the valency of the element 
here 1 1 1 that is why lithium have a plus 1 valency sodium have a plus 1 valency potassium have a plus 1 valency so on are you clear about this i hope it is I'm, i have given a very detail in very detail everything i have explained this thing is given in your textbook in a chapter number 4 but we have not completed the chapter number 4 that's why i am explaining you because to understand the next point i hope you understand this so because of the electronic configuration are in a particular manner 222881 like this so the particular manner all the electronic configuration and because of the they have a same valence shell or same outermost they have a same type of characteristic chemical and physical and similar this is the one example of the alkali group first group same way the other group also arrange okay but right now in a ninth standard only you need to learn first group first second group then a uh, group number 13 to 18 only this much and the atomic are uh, you what is the atomic number atomic number 1 to 20 you need to remember in serial which one is present in one number what is the second number at element what is the third number element that you need to know till 20 that is only in your syllabus till 10th standard okay are you understand this whole thing which i explain you okay now the another thing uh, that because of this alkali metal and the alkaline earth metal which is second group have a this type of characteristic so this are uh, the all the elect element electron are arranged like this and this denoted its characteristic all the physical and chemical property okay so now let's see this the now uh, definitely you will understand you will get the idea about this the when element are arranged according to the increasing atomic number those during an equal number of valence electron occur at a regular interval or a period and the, since the number of valence electron of the element show the periodicity regular repetition regular repetition which means as i told you the first group have a 1 1 1 valency that is the regular repetition so the chemical property show the corresponding periodicity periodicity which means that the regular interval have a same type of chemical and physical property this is called a periodicity form okay now you will get, understand this very well so the consider of a group of the periodic table for the example the first group of element lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium have a atomic number 3 11 19 37 55 and 87 respectively so they have all this characteristic similar characteristic remember this is very important point for exam point of view which characteristic are there all the alkali metal we are talking about now first group only alkali metal they are a good reducing agent all of them from lithium to francium they are good reducing agent now reducing agent you know very well those who oxidize okay those who can reduce the other element other compound which is known as a reducing agent those who can reduce the other element which is known as a reducing agent from a uh, form a unipositive ion which means that have a valency one unipositive uni which means one unipositive ion they form like na plus i told you na plus li plus like this and have a valency one they are soft metal they are very soft metal we can cut it with knife even that much soft they are they are very reactive and they thus found mainly in a combined state 
we cannot find out like gold and silver and platinum we are finding the individual purest uh, in a individual gold like we can find without free state we can able to find out but this is the combining state combining state which means that for example i am giving you a lithium lithium oxide so they are combining state which means the oxide form hydride form carbonate form they they present in the different form because they are very reactive they readily to react with the another one so they cannot present in a earth crush as a free state combining state they can free and then we uh, uh, bifurcate from the different chemical process through next one the important color the impart color to flame when they burn which means that this metal this all the first metal impart a color flame flame have a particular color when we burn it i can give you example and that you can do it at home that is sodium sodium for that you can take nacl what you do first you can take a match stick burn it so the remove the uh, beginning remove the first which is black por portion from the one end then dip it into the water and make it wet and then dip it into the salt so some salt will stick here now take that stick near to the uh, burner in your at your kitchen and if your burner have a blue flame flame and in your kitchen so when you take this nacl stick match stick near to that flame you will find out the yellow color flame so that color is impart all the lithium sodium everyone have a different different color so sodium have a yellow color other have i will tell you later about but right now you can do that if you want to find out so the all the lithium sodium this only this element have the alkali and alkali north element have this characteristic particularly because they are very reactive so immediately the flame color generated okay so the francium and they have auto, atomic uh, sorry they come impart the flame six number they form hydride with hydrogen hydride with hydrogen which means that sodium hydride nah lithium hydride lih and they form a basic oxide basic oxide which means that li2o na2o and this oxide have a basic characteristic this oxide have a basic characteristic okay next the seven month is given that a react with the water to form a metal hydroxide and hydrogen which means that a react with the water react with water one even example i'll give you when i write here one example for that suppose a sodium so when react with the sodium and water it convert into the naoh this is called a hydroxide form plus h2 okay this you can do. you balance it after right so h2 gas and uh, this is the hydroxide so all the alkali metal react with the water and form a hydroxide and hydrogen so the react with the water to form a of uh, metal hydroxide and hydrogen so all of this element have a one electron in their outermost shell and so they have a similar properties now you understand what is the meaning of outermost shell so it is noticed that the element with similar electronic configuration have similar property thus the, the the case of the periodicity in the same number of electrons in the outermost orbit so the re recurrence of the similarity electronic configuration so we can say that the all the elements and it is noticed that the element with the similar electronic configuration have a similar property now you understand this which i told you before here this have a similar electronic configuration jo outermost hai 
वन 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 सो दे हैव अ सिमिलर प्रॉपर्टीज सो द केस ऑफ द पीरियोडिसिटी इज द सेम नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सेम नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इन आउटर मोस्ट ऑर्बिट एक्वायर अकरेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन सिमिलर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन so the first group have a similar electronic configuration we can say just number and another thing i will tell you that here once two cell two one two cell here three cell here four cell okay so this is the second period if you want to see then you can find out lithium second period sodium third period potassium fourth period rubidium fifth sixth and seven so on this number of cell is denoted that the number of periods second period have a two cell third period have a three cell fourth period have a four cell first last in orbit last orbit explain the group last electron told about group and number of shell told about the periods you remember huh? this is very important definitely it will come in exam but how i will tell you later in fourth chapter so the properties that reappear at a regular interval or in which there is a gradual vari uh, variation increase or decrease at regular interval are called a periodic property and the phenomena is known as a periodic city of the element and the cause of the periodicity is reoccurrence of a similarity similar electronic configuration because ye periodicity why this periodicity because the similar electronic configuration see in a particular group the number of electrons in the outermost orbit 